Thank you for coming for a consultation. So this part is really the most important part when it comes to evaluate a patient expectation and uh, admit patient for surgery. Uh, we really have to take time to sit down with the patient. So we have a 33 years old patient uh, wanting to address uh, receding airline. Uh, we're going to establish first if uh, the patient is a good candidate for hair transplant. A good candidate for hair transplant needs to have four or five things. The first thing is to have good density. So what we're going to do, we're going to check the number of follicular units that the patient has per square centimeter. That's the first criteria. The second criteria that I'm going to look is the makeup of those follicular units. How many ones, how many twos, how many threes, how many four that someone has in a donor will really have an impact on a final result. The number three on, on my priority when I do consultation is also to look at the percentage of miniaturization in a donor. If the percentage of miniaturization is more then 20% usually we do not consider patient as a suitable candidate for hair transplant. And the fourth thing obviously is going to be the design of the hairline and the temporal recession to make sure that uh, we're not doing something crazy uh, in regard to future loss and patient expectations. So 33, we're not going to give you an 18 years old hairline. And also we need to keep in mind that a hair transplant is a permanent solution. So once we establish a hairline, it's difficult to take it back. So it's better really to be to err on the side of caution and design a hairline that will still look okay when you get older. Also, when we harvest uh, for the surgery, we really have to make sure the delimitation of the safe zone where we're going to extract the graft to avoid taking hair outside of the safe zone because many the hair we're taking outside of the safe zone will not last longer. So for this consultation, suitability of the patient for surgery, we will make sure that the hair density is okay, the hair grouping is okay, there is no high miniaturization, the design is okay and, uh, and then we can really proceed with uh, FUE if the patient is suitable for the surgery. Having the patient here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the density. So here, the donor of the patient. Over there, you can see that most follicles are two hair follicles. He has 70 density and 170 hairs. This is on supraauricular area. If we move toward the mastoid area, again, we have the same type of hair, two hairs, no miniaturizations, so we consider this as a, an average donor because most of the follicles are two. I'm going to ask him where exactly he wants his line to be drawn. Usually I give them a pencil and uh, so I can have an idea of what they want. Now we have to map the area that we're going to work. So we're going to design, put a surgical marker there. We can put some square centimeter there. You want to cover the whole area here and there. You can do it with 15, 1600. Our follicular unit, you should be able to get a good result. It's important to also insist on the fact that hair loss is a progressive condition, so patients need to consider also usage of medication to help them maintain. 
You know, when talking about medication, I'm mainly talking about FDA-approved medication, minoxidil or finasteride.